morning everyone. Today is Friday, April 17th and think of the Neville and Code of Honor. Say it to yourself and then say it out loud. All right, we have a lot to do this morning so I'm going to keep moving on. I'd like to start with the math first. Now remember any of these videos you can replay again if I go a little too fast and you can't keep up and then you can just replay it and replay it as many times as you need to. I'm going to start with the answers in the math. Hopefully you've finished all of that. Uh, today being Friday is our game day. There's a special game in there that Mr. LaRock thought about and wrote, typed in your little matrix there for Friday. Now, these are the problems. I wrote them up um, separately. And what you had to do in the first part was to underline the number or the digit, they said, in the ten thousands place and circle the number in the hundreds place. And this is what that looks like. On numbers two through five, you either added or subtracted. So you can see those answers are there. Don't forget your commas and to line those up correctly. On Tuesday, we did some multiplication to begin with by zeros and then some regular one digit multiplication problems. And then on number seven, the problem was about making cookies, three cookies per person. And there were 22 students plus the teacher, that would be 23. And if you multiply that by 3, you get 69. should have said cookies here. I forgot to label. All right. For Wednesday, we did a little division on number 8. A little tricky, but all you had to do was think about what number added together four times would give me, would give me 48. Number 9, you had to think of the uh, factors of 24. So 1 times 24, 2 times 12 equals 24. 3 times 8 and 4 times 6. All of those have an answer of 24. So those are considered factors. On Thursday, we had some word problems. And as you can see, Jenna wrote uh, 509 more words. And then on, on the second one, you were talking about how many minutes they practiced. And for the three days, it was a total of 176 words. And then you had to figure out for the whole total week, so 344 more minutes she would have to practice if she had to practice 520. So you took the number of the total that she had to practice minus the amount of days she already practiced to get how many more she needed to practice. Okay. Um, let's see here. Thursday. Hang on. I'm trying to find my Thursday. Wednesday. Oh, I did do Thursday. I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday and Friday. Hopefully I did them all. Let me know if I missed anything. All right, so that's the math. Keep following the matrix and remember that now for next week on Monday, you're going to follow the math problems that are on that separate sheet for the next week. Now for reading, uh, we've been reading the book, Tales of the Fourth Grade Nothing. And we, let's see, let me look at what we did yesterday. You had to write down a prediction and you did that on here, right in here. Oops, I'm having a hard time this morning. Hang on. You had to write down your prediction. And then you had to think about if your prediction was correct. And then for today, which is Friday, you were to answer the questions on page 13. Well, it says page 13, but what you need to do is just to follow these. Like, for example, this is chapter one. That's chapter one questions. And then chapter two questions. And that's right there. So then you're going to answer those questions. You may want to uh, re-look. At that video again review it again and just to see uh, in order to answer these questions that would be a good idea another thing that we're going to do for today is to write a summary for chapters one and two and if you could do six to ten sentences if you can do less or if you can do more both is fine and then if you could record that on seesaw that would be just great all right just looking this over to see Oh, I like number four is based on your opinion on what you think on those. All right, so that concludes what we will do for this week for reading and for math. I hope that you have a very good weekend. I'll be thinking of you. Uh, hopefully it'll be warmer and you can get outside and play a little bit. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again on Monday. Goodbye.